Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my cursor there, and I'm going to use the arrow keys, and let's watch what's, what we see after the stuff has come down. Do you see anything? You see this thing just over to the right a little bit, like right there? Now, you see how that top of that, it's a column. This is that corner column. Notice how the top of this corner column is at exactly the same height as that little puff. Like, why would the corner column be right to that little puff? Well, it sure looks to me like that little puff was another cutter charge that severed the column. Now, notice how as the building continues to fall, that column stays supported there. You see that? Yeah. All right. Now, boom, there it goes. It went into free fall, didn't it? Now, last night at up till 1230 last night, I took that tracker program, and I put those little dots. I started off putting a series of dots on this little puff, right? And I went bing, 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 right, right here every time at the root of the puff, and it basically verified it stayed right at the same level. It didn't move down the building at all. It just stayed there, okay? Then I had a gap while it went through all this stuff, and then as soon as I could see the column, I started putting the mark on the top of the column. And you can actually see that the top of the column starts off right at that same level. It sort of rocks down, so it comes down a little bit, and then it descends into free fall. Boom. Now, my suspicion was, is this the same column that Graham McQueen was looking at the other end? Okay? So let's go back and look at that. Okay, so you guys are seeing fresh research here that has not been turned into a video or anything else yet. Now, okay, here's the northwest corner, sort of a famous video. Do you see anything that could be that column? Look at that thing up there. That's the same column. And I went back and forth. And uh, so one of the things I had to do was to somehow correlate these two. If I want to show that the other end of this column is this cutter charge thing down here, I figured if I could show that the moment that this started to free fall is the same as the moment that this little puff went off, that would indicate this thing is being supported. Puff. This thing goes off, cuts the, uh, the girder here, the column here, and then it free fall. Okay? So that was the goal. To do that, I had to somehow synchronize the frames of these two videos. So look at this little column up here. Little, Look at the column up the top. Look at that. It's in sunlight. It's in the shadow. And then as it's in the sunlight, it disappears from the sunlight. Bing, right there. You could get the last little glimmer of sunlight landing on this, right? Well, the other video, I'm not going to go back to it right now. The other video, you can see the same thing. You can see the column enter the sunlight. And then when it, and it sort of glistens when it's in the sunlight, and then as the very last corner of that column disappears from the sunlight, you can then identify the frame number from that video and correlate it with this frame number. Down here it says frame 78 down there. So frame 78 of this video and frame whatever the number was on the other one. Okay. So then I went back and did the analysis on the other one, and, and I used Tracker, and I figured out, okay, here's when, boom, it starts accelerating downward. I found when that occurred, I converted it over to this one. I believe uh, it occurred on this one at around 17, 18, 19, right around in there, okay? So let's go back to frame, here's 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Look what's going on. So basically, that nails it, that what we're looking at is this event here coincides exactly with when the measurement of the top of this thing enters free fall. So we're actually seeing this puff cut this column. 
The significance of this, I want to point this out. There's all of this argumentation that how what we're seeing is stuff being puffed out by air. If it's puffed out by air, it's going to go out through windows. It's going to break through one floor at a time, which we can see is not the case. And yet, and yet what we see here is a, an example where the, the little cloud is coming out through a girder. And the, and the effect of it coming out through the girder is at this one, at the top one, it cuts off the top of the column at that level. The bottom one, it actually sets this whole column into free fall. So we have both ends of this column, we have nailed it that we are seeing uh, explosive charges cut columns. Let that sink in. So this is very graphic evidence that we're actually seeing what everybody would guess that we're seeing from first, look, from first glance. But this is the kind of nailing it down to where it makes it very hard to... Um, to deny. All right. I had one other, I have a couple others here. Let me just see what I have left here. I did another investigation. This is a little bit uh, different kind of thing. <clears throat> one of the questions I have, a lot of people in the truth movement sort of loosely use the concept of free fall and say the, the twin towers came down at free fall or close to free fall or Various things like that, right? As you saw a few minutes ago, the, north, the, the roof line of the North Tower came down up and it came down until it disappeared into the rubble uh, about this level. It uh, came down at about roughly two thirds of free fall. It was a 0.64, I believe, right? So, what I've done is I've put two markers on here. There's a blue one and there's a red one that's superimposed on there right now. And the blue one is going to come down at free fall. The red one's going to come down at the 64% of free fall. And to see whether that same rate uh, holds all the way down the building. So notice that it's clearly not falling at free fall. Okay. And look at that. The building's still way up here. So obviously it did not come all the way down at 64% of free fall either. Uh, if, if the red one, when the red one hits the ground, it would be about 11 seconds. Uh, so, uh, Jim Hoffman's measurements for the collapse of the building, he's been very critical of this kind of loose claim made by people in the truth movement. And he said that actually the evidence points to about 16 seconds for the, uh, for the tower to fall all the way. So it is slower than either of these. However, I noticed something else along the way. Something is keeping up with that red bar. What do you see happening right here? These are those explosions. explosions inside the building pushing stuff out. That's coming out way down here when the top of the building is up here. And by the way, where's that pile driver, huh? Show me a pile driver. It's not there. But uh, 